Hi everyone, it is National Infertility Awareness Week. So I thought I would make these little videos for you just to give you a bit of an insight into what it's like to be infertile, what it means, how our journey has gone. Yeah, I just wanted to talk about it because there isn't enough conversation about it. If you're following me on Instagram, which you are, because this is where it's gonna be, you will know that I talk about infertility and my journey quite a lot and quite openly. And that's for a number of reasons. I speak openly because it is a therapy for myself. I feel so much better sharing my journey. I feel like getting everything off my chest is, makes me feel so much better. So I put it all on my Instagram account. So thank you all for being there and supporting me through it all. I also feel like I'm helping other people as well. So. There's a lot of people that don't feel they can share or feel alone or are not yet at a point where I am or it's somebody else's. You know, there's always gonna be somebody that's been through what you're going through, you know, more or less. So there's gonna be somebody that understands out there. So if I can, you know, put out how, how I'm feeling, what I'm going through and it help just one person, then that is exactly why I'm doing it. Being infertile is shit. It is not something you ever get warned about. You don't get taught about it in school, which is one of my biggest beefs about infertility. I am 27 right now, and we've been trying for a baby for two and a half years. We found out on this journey that I have got PCOS. I found out both of my tubes are blocked the chances are I'm never ever gonna get pregnant naturally. And those topics, any of those, any anything but having a baby the regular way was never ever covered in sex education, in school, in anything. When you're being taught in school about life, they don't give you all the information to go away with they pretty much tell you you will get pregnant as soon as you go near a boy you need to go on the pill you need to they don't tell you what these things do by the way they just suppress your hormones so you don't give you any get no good out of it unless you are fertile and you are stopping yourself getting pregnant but at what cost when there are natural ways to track it but I wish there was more information so you could make an educated decision on what you wanted to do to your body. I don't know whether being on contraception for so long has affected my fertility, I don't know um, but I've been on the injection, I've been on the pill, I've been, I've had the implant so over the last, well it was 10 years, I have been on pretty much everything by the coil. And I'm not sure whether that had anything to do with it or not, but like I say, it would have been nice from a school's point of view. And even from a doctor's point of view, you know, for even to just have a leaflet when you're going to your GP to say, this is what this does. Okay, so the primary goal is for it to either regulate your periods. Some people go on the pill for their skin and obviously to, to prevent a pregnancy. But at what cost? Nobody tells you, nobody gives you like the fours and against, nobody tells you why it's gonna help your skin. Mm, because your hormones have stopped working. Yeah, so I wish there was more information about that. And I know there's some really great people out there trying to get more information out there to the public and to into schools and to younger people because a lot of people want to have a family at some point in their life and you aren't warned that you might not be able to enough I don't think I don't it never entered my mind that I would never I would have a family by this point it never entered my mind that I would be infertile my side of the family's got children Mark's side of the family's got all got children so to me it it was never a doubt in my mind that we would 
that we would struggle or have a problem and it, and, it, and to most people that would be the case you know you, you don't naturally get up and think oh I think I'm infertile that just isn't it that just isn't the case you know and for people like us that have to go on this journey to find out that you are infertile and then why you're infertile and then the how to fix it or what are the alternative routes are it's a long process and it's hard because i said this when we first started trying for a baby but when having a baby is something that is so out of your control like everything in life if you want it you can get it you can go out there you can work for it you can you can go and buy it, you can go and eat it, you can have it, you can do and have whatever you want. But when it comes to having a baby, yeah, you can track your ovulation, track your cycles, whatever, but it's out of your hands otherwise. There is nothing you can do about it. And that is when you find out whether you work or not, essentially. Yeah that's infertility shit i didn't want this video to be like down i mean you know what i'm like i'm usually really upbeat and trying to make everyone laugh and smile and stuff so i didn't want it to be too downhearted but infertility is real it is happening to one in eight of us the likelihood is somebody you know is going through it and they haven't said because there's this shame stigma around it because everybody can have a baby like because you know and there's this like taboo about infertility and not being able to get pregnant naturally and yeah people don't like to share so i hope i'm doing enough to make people feel that they're not alone if they are seeing my video and are going through infertility themselves or whether you are trying for a baby and it hasn't happened for you yet or whether you aren't even near this point but as long as you are armed with all the information that is what I aspire for everybody to have. I hope this video has been useful and informative and I will see you tomorrow for another video.